What if Darwin's shocking theory of evolution wasn't the first of its kind? In 1859, Darwin published On the Origin of Species, claiming that life evolved through natural selection. It shook Christianity, Judaism, and the entire Western world. But centuries earlier, in the Islamic Golden Age, scholars were already exploring similar, and sometimes deeper, ideas. In the 9th century, Al-Jahiz wrote about animals adapting to survive, describing concepts strikingly close to natural selection. The Quran itself speaks of creation in stages. We created man from a drop, then from a clot, then into a living being. Passages that many today interpret as a harmony between revelation and science. While Darwin was branded a heretic, Islamic thought often taught that studying nature was a way to understand the Creator. Instead of conflict, science and faith were seen as partners in the search for truth. Charles Darwin may have shaken the West, but in the Islamic world, the seeds of these ideas had been planted centuries before. Subscribe for more untold and eye-opening stories from history.